In today's video, I show you guys how to make a fireball just like the one on screen. The best part about this is that you don't even have to touch a script to get this working in your game. In the description of this video, you will find a link to my Discord server. And inside, you will find the model to the fireball ability. Once you have the model, you can now create a base plate like normal. Alright, so once you're in studio, if you've done everything correctly, you should actually see the fireball ability inside the my models area inside the toolbox. So you can see all of the assets that are inside of here. You can see the explosion, um, the actual, this is what's held when you are trying to use the fireball ability and then the actual fireball itself you can actually see and also the destroyed ground so this is the ground that gets destroyed on the explosion once everything is inside of your game you should see a folder that is called fireball ability inside of the explorer underneath this folder you will see a script called readme you can just delete this this is to explain stuff for the people that are not watching the video now we are just left with two models one called replicated storage and the other one called starter pack you're just simply going to want to move these into their specified locations and ungroup them. So inside of the magic folder that was just created after we ungrouped the replicated storage model, you will see all of the assets from before that were inside of the workspace. We don't actually need to do anything with this so we can just close it like normal. The other thing that was added was the fireball tool. Now inside of here you will see that there are four folders, uh, scripts, events, assets, and animations. The only one that we're going to have to worry about is animation. Now the reason why we need to do something with this animations folder is because I did actually provide you guys with an animation but Roblox does not allow you to use somebody else's animation so I'm going to have to show you guys how to publish it to your own account. Now to do this you're going to want to go to the top of your screen where it says plugins and actually click on it and over here you'll see a plugin that is actually called rig builder. You're just going to want to click this and then create an R6 rig and do a block rig. Now once you're here, you're going to want to go to the animation that is underneath the animations folder and actually copy the ID inside of uh, the properties. We don't need the entire ID, we just need the numbers. So once you've done that, you can actually go up to plugins again and open up the animation editor. Once we're here, we're just going to want to click on the dummy that we just added. So you're just going to want to click create and after that, uh, right here with these three dots, you're going to want to hit import and then from Roblox. Now you're going to want to type the animation ID that we just copied before inside of this box. So once you've done that, you're just going to want to hit submit and you can see the entire animation has just loaded right here. Now I'm just going to play it because, you know, might as well. And you can see it is, it is working here. Uh, that is the throwing animation that I have added. So to actually publish this animation, now you're going to want to click on these three dots and hit publish to Roblox. Now once you're here, you can just hit submit and then copy this ID right here. Now I'm not going to actually copy this ID because I already have my own, so I don't really need to make a new one. After you're done with that, you're just going to want to paste the new ID that you got from publishing it in the actual properties. Just replace it with the old one. So once you're done with that, you can just go ahead now and delete the dummy. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys about the tool is there is a cooldown and a damage value. These values can be changed by changing the value property inside of properties. And right here, we can just change the damage to literally whatever we want. So I can make the cooldown for it. So how often I can use it anywhere from zero seconds to like, I don't know, 10,000 seconds or something like that. I'm going to leave the cooldown on three and same for the damage as well. It's currently set to zero, but I want it to do an instant kill. So I'm just going to change it to 100. Another thing that's going to be right underneath the kit for the fireball is the uh, the dummy that I use. It's like a ragdolling dummy. Now you can you can use literally anything like a player or like it doesn't really matter but these dummies look really cool when I use the fireball on them so I'm just going to use these to demonstrate. So I'm just going to put like three next to each other just for the tutorial and I'm going to leave them there. These actually respawn so it's really good as well. Once you are inside the game you will actually see a fireball tool right here in the bottom by your backpack and you can just press 1 to equip it and then when you click the fireball will actually shoot right in front of you and deal damage you can see and it creates the destroyed ground and you can just keep shooting it um, depending on how fast your cooldown is and yeah that's basically the fireball. Anyways guys that'll be it for today's video do be sure to like the video and subscribe we just hit 5 thousand subscribers bro 5,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for that and also youtube seems to think that you'll enjoy the video on screen so why don't you click it and you know what i'm saying give it a shot maybe maybe it's a good video maybe it's not i don't know you will never know if you don't if you don't